my colleague Chantal Habolan couldn't come because she's getting data for the present year and uh, so um, I'm presenting for her uh, right now. I would like to thank you very much for accepting the changing uh, oral presenter. So um, this is um, one point of a very big project with dealing with six years analysis in different disciplinarity and I will focus this morning on a um, flora dynamic in the vineyard uh, and trying to, to show you some results about environmental factors and vineyard practices which can influence uh, the flora dynamic in vineyard. So the context is uh, an international and a, a new European poli politics uh, who have to decided to protect environmental resources and in particular uh, biodiversity. As a consequence, we had in France a uh, program founded by the government, ECOFITO, and uh, the goals of this research program, research and development programs, is to reduce inputs and in particular uh, pesticides in viticulture. Uh, in Alsace, which is one of the vineyards in France, uh, the program is called PEPSV. Um, for uh, French words, you know, I won't, I didn't have the translation of this, but you will understand very quickly. And deals with three main goals, redesigning vineyards, with low, lower inputs, experimentation of these vineyards in real conditions, and then assessment of the new growing systems, assessments, uh, global assessment uh, in agronomy, environmental uh, environment, uh, social and uh, economic point of view. So the point of this presentation is uh, the results of assessment of flora diversity according to outstanding factors. Uh, general objectives of the big project is uh, so redesign systems uh, in a special uh, set of constraints, high quality wines in protected designation of origin areas. Uh, we experiment the redesign systems in rural condition, in field, uh, which have uh, an average of the size of uh, an Alsatian uh, vineyard in a classical uh, winery and then we assess the system for especially targeting on yield and quality of the product and which are the products they are harvested grapes I'm sorry for the mistakes on the slide and uh, the wine the wine the wines which are going after the, the vineyard we have 11 redesigned systems uh, in Alsace region so this is on the border of Germany in France. I didn't put a very big map, but I hope you will know where is it. And uh, data are collected from two years of measurement, 2014 and 2015. And we're going to continue the, the data measurement uh, till 2018. So we will have a nice database to analyze and to present to you for next Congress. Uh, some details about the sites. Uh, we have sites in different villages, Vincenheim, Ribouville, Roufac, Chateaunois, and Ingersheim. And they are managed by INRA, National Institute of Agronomy, by um, schools, agricultural schools in Roufac. And we have two winery sites in, in uh, family wineries which is very precious for us because they don't have the same set of constraints as we do in a public research or in a school station. So the system tested are based on integrated production, organic production, and uh, planting resistant varieties against uh, powder mildew. We have on the Vincenheim site, we have repetitions in blocks. And uh, so you have details about the, the systems which are tested. We have different varieties as well, according to the varieties which have been planted on, on the selected sites, uh, because we are not working with a young uh, vineyard, we are working in 
product, production vineyard and the different type of soils you have on the last column. So different combination of set of constraints uh, with different soils, different climate and different uh, grape varieties. The method we used uh, was about um, to characterize the species richness. So is a, um, a species is present or not in the field. And uh, we did the measurement in each field and separated in the field uh, what is the flora under the row and the flora inter row, depending on the inter row, is grassed or tilled. So we have different soil management uh, treatment according what, to what the, the, the wine grower or the manager of the vineyard uh, uh, decided to do to target uh, the, the quality of grapes and the yield. Uh, we also use interviews of one growers to inquire practices because we, we don't have enough body uh, people to, to follow them every, every man uh, during the, the vineyard season. And we did uh, two years of measurement and interviews. And we did statistical test of ANOVA, uh, classical one on, on the data because we had repetitions also. So this is uh, some example, I'm sorry it's in French, I don't know the word in English, but you have the Latin name if you, if you, if you know them, if there are some botanic uh, searcher in the, in the room. Uh, so you've got several, uh, very big diversity of uh, flora varieties. Uh, which can uh, be seeded in the vineyard according to their quality and to uh, what the wine grower is uh, going through. But we are not going, um, this presentation to today is about uh, quantitative results. But just trust me, we did, we did a similar job about the qualitative and the nature of the flora varieties we have, uh, we have in this field. So the first result is just uh, the presentation of the specific richness of flora between fields. So we have 11 uh, sites and we observed that an average of uh, 54 different species in the field each year and there is an evolution of flora between the two studied years. So I'm not going to go into details uh, during the 15 minutes but if you want some details I can, I can try to answer of, or if I cannot you can send an email to my colleague <laughs> who will be very happy to answer you. Uh, so the second, uh, the second, uh, so yes, for this, this uh, except uh, laughing, uh, you've got um, 11 sites and we've got an average of course, but you can, we can separate it as well, uh, the sites according to the system, the management systems of the, of the sites. So on the, on the, on the, on, the, on this, uh, this axis, you've got the sites and AB is for organic and PA is for integrated system, if you want to separate it. And there are also significant, significant, um, statistical uh, test analysis between uh, organic and uh, integrated system, which, which is not a, a very big surprise, but uh, if we think there, ha there are herbicides between the rows, but there are no herbicides uh, also in, uh, in integrated field. Uh, and y you have differences uh, for example, oh, I'm sorry, you have differences between sites, uh, for example, Ribovile, uh, you don't have differences between the systems, but you have differences between sites. Uh, according to um, one of the main explanation is what's happened before uh, we started the, the test. So the seeds which uh, are in the soil and which can grow up and uh, make the, the flora richness uh, are not exactly the same according to soil management uh, the 10 or the 15 years before. The second result is the detail inside the field. So we separated uh, the interrow which were grassed, interrow which were tilled, 
and what's happened under the, fin the vine. I don't know if I pronounce under row. And so we didn't manage to. Sorry, I'm not. Uh, we, we didn't see significant difference uh, between the soil management uh, between under row and uh, tilled inter row and grassed inter road, except uh, a year variation uh, between the, the, two, the two years between for the soil tilled inter the rows. Uh, the next result is about uh, flora uh, depending on soil management. So we focused on the detail uh, on tilled, tilled soil intero. So we're going to focus uh, more and more precise. You see, so global results at the site side. Then we go in one, one field and we separate under uh, intero. And then we go only on the tilled intero and separate. Uh, which practices in detail can has an influence or not, uh, depending on the, um, the death of the, the tillage, <coughs> especially, and if there is a combination of, uh, for example, tillage and airing, which is the case. So the average flora diversity is in organic field, and uh, the highest is graced in row for each redesigned system and we can also see there are variations so a study, uh, between studied years so according to the climatic year and temperature and, um, and uh, humidity uh, and uh, rain uh, the, the, the soil management practices uh, will not um, will not be, uh, uh, well, will act, will have an effect different on richness of flora. Uh, then, um, this is not the, the main result, but it's important for our database. Uh, we had in the survey, we do the questionnaire, we asked about what's around the field. And so we've got three sort of uh, surrounded um, stuff around the field, uh, forest and grove, vineyard or town and housing area. And uh, so there is a, a significant impact, so everybody knows that, but we demonstrated this with uh, our database and it's uh, important for, to explain and to, to give, um, after to give uh, advice in agronomy for the wine growers. So um, two points about the discussion. Um, so this is a started method, which uh, is not enough uh, because I said at the beginning of the presentation, this is a quant this is quantitative results. But we we are dealing; they are not present here, but we are dealing also with uh, qualitative results and distinguishing which species of the flora are intero and underro. And why we do that is because. Um, Depending on the on the species, we will have different effect as well on the soil structure and uh, nitrogen and water availability for the wine. So it's not enough uh, just counting uh, if there is or not species of flora, but which are they? Because it will be a, a very a very precious information for the wine grower. Um, and uh, we will uh, do that as well with a recovery rate of flora uh, to, to know if, uh, for a quantitative aspect, if there are a lot of one species and only one individual of uh, another species, which is also uh, complementary information. About the results, um, separation of the fields according to soil management practices will be completed by uh, another point of analysis about the other practices which can have an influence, this is our hypothesis, uh, for example fertilization practices and pesticides practices analysis. We already done the, the analysis for fertilization um, practices. Uh, to conclude, um, just a summary of what I said. Uh, diversity of flora in the field changed during two following studied years according to different outstanding factors and we will continue to get data to, to consolidate uh, these uh, results or to, to see if there is another um, dynamic flora dynamic in the fields. 
Uh, one outstanding parameter which influences specific richness of flora is soil management, which is not a surprise, but we have uh, details of how and uh, where it is uh, important to, to focus on, and in particular, soil mechanical work. A second, uh, a second outstanding interesting parameter influencing specific richness of flora in the vineyard is the environmental, uh, the environment of the field, and uh, at a lesser degree positively influence uh, richness of flora. So what are we going to do till uh, 2018? We're going to calculate uh, Ranker index, which is an index uh, for to assess uh, quality of flora in, uh, in the field and the recovery rate uh, to increase our database and uh, the database will contribute to, feel, to build uh, the references and the knowledge uh, to build a biodiversity indicator according to Indigo method, uh, which is a decision aid tool for wine growers. So this is the application of the, of the research we do. So I would like to thank you very, very much, uh, Julie Grignon and Marie Merlin, uh, which were two fantastic students, and um, they did the job, they did the experiment, and, uh, and, uh, and they were very nice. <laughs> and uh, the financial support, French Agricultural Ministry, and uh, the Alsace region. And of course, thank you for your attention.